Hey guys, how's it going? Will here. Uh, I wanted to make a quick video on how to use Microsoft Ice to stitch together photos from a panorama. Uh, I recently got a DJI Spark from uh, my dad for Christmas, and I was looking around for programs to stitch together panoramas because the DJI app can do it for you, but if you throw the SD card in your computer, it just gives you the, um, the images themselves. So I've already loaded up all the photos from this specific panorama. Uh, they'll be in different folders for each one you take, so they're really easy to uh, set apart from each other. But basically, you just select all the images you want inside here, and you go over to Stitch, and it'll throw them all together for you. It's actually really, really good at putting them together. It's totally seamless. You can't really uh, tell the images apart from each other. Um, I think it does a really, really good job of it. So we'll just wait for that to finish real quick. Cool. And here we go. So the cylindrical is the default projection, but there are three, five, seven, nine, ten different options to choose from. Um, so as you can see, there is no seams. And this looks great. So there's a couple different options you have. And with this, you can also, you can choose like your perspective on it. So if you want it to be a little curved up, or if, let's go to fisheye, you can change exactly how you want it to look, which is super cool to me. So you can go to perspective, and you can essentially look around. But this, this square here is pretty much what's going to be cropped. So if we go to, let's say, spherical, and zoom out a little bit, <clears throat> And let's make a wide panorama out of this. So we have it in the perspective we want it at. It's inside the square. Let's click crop. Cool. And it pulls this up for us, which looks great. So we'll click auto crop. It'll automatically make a rectangle. Uh, pretty much the biggest rectangle it can make based on the crop. Uh, you can also drag this in. So say... I don't want any of this parking lot. I can just crop that out. Uh, maybe if I want it a little bit wider, just bring the sky down a little bit so there's a little more action. And then click export. And then this is going to be our, fo our uh, photo. And it's 9893 by 2413, which is huge uh, compared to most uh, 1080p photos. Anyway, so let's go back to Stitch and see what else we can do with this. So let's try and do something pretty cool. Um, let's do this. So we're not using the whole panorama because we got all this stuff over here, but let's say I want to just do this right here. So I'm bringing it up to the bottom of the road. We'll click crop and it'll crop it based on what we just framed up. Auto crop and there we go. Export and there's our photo. 10 10, 784 by 55 or 5110. Um, oh, I didn't even realize you could mess with the quality too. And then click export, and there's your photo. So um, I'm still kind of messing around with it. As you can tell, I didn't even know that some of the options were options, but um, just wanted to make a quick, quick little video in case this could help some of you. So, yeah, uh, happy flying.